Welcome to San Antonio Living. I'm Shelly Miles, and it is wedding week here on the show, and we are starting with your wedding etiquette questions answered. Our etiquette expert, Diane Gottsman, is here. She's got some of the common questions that she gets all the time about weddings, and we are going to answer them for you. It's good to see you. Nice to see you. This is like, I know this is your bread and butter, so I'm very excited yes. to hear what you have to say about I'm dressed these. for the wedding. Yes, I'm ready, ready to, go. to go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> good deal. All right, we'll find out if I'm dressed for a wedding in just a bit. But let's start with our first question. So what do you do if you think you've been invited to a wedding, but you never got an invitation? And is that a common thing? It is. Yeah. You know, because what happens is you think you're that close to that person, and all of a sudden, you're not on the guest list. Ugh. And you think maybe you've been forgotten or not. And I think that Unless you are immediately uh, an immediate family member, you just let it go. Okay. Because what happens is the best of intentions. Somebody might mm -hmm. say, "Oh, I can't wait to see you at my wedding in six months." Well, then budget, you know, the, yes. the budget restraints click in, and all of a sudden they realize that they can't afford all of those people. So just let it go. So let it go. Okay, sounds. Good. Should you send a gift? <laughs> <laughs> that might make it feel a little oh, you know here's what you can do you can get together and say I would love to take you for a celebratory Good lunch idea. and bring them a little something but don't do it before the wedding because okay. then they wonder I didn't invite them what do I do now right I feel like it's all about making you know other people feel okay yes. right so yes. that's our that's our motive with this uh, what if there's no date on the RSVP to the pre-wedding invitation how long do you have to respond so you have once you receive that invitation I want you to think in terms term of 24 to 48 hours oh so very quickly <laughs> okay. you know and, and it says pre-wedding invitation so like the save the day so it's a it's a rehearsal dinner okay. it might be family getting together for something before the wedding that's coming in for a destination wedding okay so very quickly because they're they're doing a head count they want to know who's going to come and who is not going to come and there might even be a guest list B. If okay. all of these people do not show, Ooh. it's not that they are less important, but there's we, we've got the budget to think about. Right. Okay. Okay. So really, 24 to 48 hours, and that's with any RSVP, that's with right? Any mm -hmm. RSVP. Okay. So what if you've RSVP'd, but all of a sudden you're sick? What do you do? Stay home. Stay home. If you are for real sick, you have a fever. You need to stay. And and and. Even though it's going to be terrible. Now, if it's the mom or dad, you know, or the bride or groom, you got to show. Okay. I mean, unless you're really, really ill. Okay. But if you get sick right before the wedding, you need to just stay home and, just and, call and let and them text. know. Yes, okay. let them know. I am so sorry because things do happen. Okay. But you don't show up for a better deal. Don't say I'm sick, and then you're on Facebook at some <laughs> party that you no. were invited to. Okay, good to know. Um, all right, can a guest wear a bright color to a black tie wedding? So yes and no. Okay. So a black tie wedding is a formal wedding, which means it's a long dress, it's a tuxedo. Black tie is, is tuxedo. But you can be festive within that. So okay. you can wear some bright colors. So is red okay? Red is okay if, let's say it's a man's cummerbund. Okay. Or it's a, it depends on if it's the holidays, especially a red and black beautiful long dress would be beautiful. Okay. But I would, when in doubt, I would talk to the, to the bride and okay. you know, the, the couple and I would talk to the parents of the bride, make sure that you're not, you know, the mom of the bride, make sure that you're not wearing what they're wearing. Okay, good to if know. If there's a themed color. Got it. Is it, is it still like a no, no, no white to a wedding? No white to Ever. a wedding. Ever. That's, that's Ever. never changing. No, okay, that is not going to change. Uh, is it okay to call and ask to bring a plus one? No, it is not. And this is one of the most commonly asked questions. If their name, if there is not a name on the invitation, they're not invited. Okay. Or if it's just your name, don't call and ask because what happens is now I put you on the spot mm -hmm. and now somebody else calls and you have to say yes to them as well. Okay. Unless they have forgotten Travis. Unless they have forgotten your significant other. Shelly is just me. Shelly and Travis is the two of us. Yes. Okay. But, but if they had forgotten to put his name on the list, if it wasn't Mr. and Mrs., then you could say, listen, there might be an oversight. But, but if it's just a friend. <laughs> Hi, I have a husband. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> is it acceptable to email a thank you note after the wedding? You know, the answer would be normally no. Okay. However, if they are just this green couple and they sent out paperless posts for the invitation, you can you're going to follow suit with a thank you note. Okay. Ooh, some but generally, rules. generally send a handwritten note. All right. Well, I feel like I'm ready to go. Thank you so much. Great information. If you've got questions, you need a little help with your etiquette. Check in with Diane. She is our etiquette expert at the Protocol School of Texas here in San Antonio. You can go to diannegotsman.com and you can find her on. Facebook at Protocol School of Texas. Denise?